Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the high wave candlestick pattern. So let's take a look over here at some real world examples of the high wave candle. You'll see a, here a chart of Amazon, AMZN. You'll notice here that the high wave candle, I have it highlighted here, the green one, but this is a whole, this was another pattern. That's like a bullish engulfing pattern. So you can see this big green candlestick uh, engulfing the small real body. So, well, but, but just basically pay attention to this long, uh, long upper and lower shadows with this small real body. That's a high wave candle, that candle that you see here. It looks very similar to a long legged doji candlestick. Now, a long legged doji would probably have a body more like this, like this, like a very thin body, open and close price at the same price. But you can see the high wave candle will look very similar to a long-legged doji. So we tell people, again, don't get bogged down and be like, well, this pattern, is that a long-legged doji or is it a high-wave candle? It doesn't really matter because it's telling the same story. It's telling indecision. It's showing the battle between the bulls and the bears. And you got to understand in the big scheme of things what that pattern is actually doing. You'll see lots of these patterns. You'll see... You know, sometimes a dragonfly doji will look similar to a hammer, right? So don't bog yourself down or a doji might look like, you know, don't, you know, bog yourself down and be like, is it a, a long-legged doji or a regular doji, right? Is it a high-wave candle or is, there, is it kind of like a hammer within a high-wave candle? Just understand the concept, right? <clears throat> what it's actually doing. As you can see... This high wave candle right here, it's showing indecision, and it's no coincidence why it's doing it. Look at the moving average lines. This right here, this blue line, is the nine exponential moving average. The red is the 20. Look how right here, it dips below the 20 EMA. Bulls came back in, pushed it back up. So the bears pushed it down, bulls came back in. They settled right around just below that nine EMA right? Indecision right around a moving average line. No coincidence. So you'll see these high wave candles and long legged doji candles happen right, you know, close to uh, moving average lines or when a stock is overextended, uh, either overbought or oversold because price naturally wants to move and gravitate back down uh, to the moving average lines. It's just a matter of when, right? So you can see here, that is a really good example of a high wave candle. Very important to just know not just what the, the candlestick is, but why it's doing what it's doing and why it's doing what it's doing. Indecision right at moving average lines. Look at GBTC. <clears throat> right here, big high wave candle, huge, long upper shadow, long lower shadow, right? Why is it doing that? Well, look at how overextended RSI is, right? Battle of the bulls and the bears. Bulls wanted to push it down, or bears wanted to push it down. Bulls wanted to push it back up. Big, huge warning sign right now. When you see this, look at what happens. That's bad. Looks really, really bad. But you can see other ones right here. You can see high wave candle. This is kind of a high wave candle too, right? That's kind of one over there. Um, you know, so someone can say, is that a long legged doji or is it a high wave? Well, very similar. They're both telling a similar story. So you can see many of these ones. You can see this is kind of like a long legged doji right here. So you can start to see, and there's dojis and dojis. You can see here, well, is that a high wave candle? Is it a spinning top or is it a doji? Well, doesn't really matter per se because it's telling the similar story. It's happening right at the moving average lines. No coincidence. And this is kind of a perfect example right here. You you know, you can make the argument, well, that's a long-legged doji or it's a high-wave candle. Which one is it? Uh, does it really matter? They're very similar. They're telling the same very similar story. Price is overextended, wants to gravitate back to the moving average lines. Um, so it's showing indecision. So a high-wave candle has more of a real body, you know, some more of a real body than a long-legged doji. But again, I like to show similarities real world uh, because a lot of people will get confused and they'll be like, well, which one is it? Again, understand the candlestick, the story it's trying to tell, and then look at the other candlesticks and the patterns that it's forming to get a, bit, a better overall picture. <clears throat> K 
cat. All right, high wave candle right here. Price is falling, right? Starting to get oversold right over here. You know, bears tried to push it down. Bulls came rushing back in. You have a, a real body, smaller. It's still kind of big, but it's smaller. And uh, no coincidence, why did this happen? Right at that 50 SMA, right? It's not going to always happen at a moving average line, but many times you'll see it. And uh, then you can see this big green candlestick that's kind of like a bullish engulfing one, kind of engulfed it to try to push it back up, which it did temporarily, but it fell back down again. And then you can look over here. You can say, well, is that a high wave candlestick or is it a long legged doji? Well, you know, you can make the argument, you know, it's a long legged doji again, what the story is trying that's trying to be told is it's the battle between the bulls and the bears. The bulls are trying to push this back up, but they're trying to push it back up. See, <clears throat> they want to get it back up above the moving average lines. So that's a perfect example, again, of a very similar pattern. Um, this is still bearish. You know, it's got a red candlestick, but it doesn't. it's still trying to tell the story of the bulls are trying to keep it up, right? Trying to form a base. And look, if you connect these dots, the base... They're forming a support, right? Uh, X, U.S. Steel. <coughs> um, whoops. All right, so price is falling here, right? Price is falling. And then, obviously, tug of war between the bulls and the bears. Small kind of real body. Tug of war. Why did it happen? It's trying to fight right at these moving average lines to get back up. It's tapping off this 50 SMA, and the bull stopped it from going down to the 200 SMA. And obviously, you can see you know some consolidation, then eventually moved up over the moving average lines. You can see over here, this is price of markets open right now. It's just forming indecision right now, right? <clears throat> Lots of economic data right now. So that's a com combination of is it going to be a doji? Is it going to be a spinning top? Is it going to be a long-legged doji? Is it going to be a high wave candle if it forms in the middle? Again, just watch these patterns, watch how they form, and just understand the concept of what uh, it's trying to do. Comcast. This is an incredible looking high wave candle. Look at this right here. This is utter perfection right here. Right at the top kind of an, of an uptrend. You can see, I mean, how do you trade something like that? It's super difficult. And then you can see this big red candle, a bearish engulfing candle kind of came in. Price kind of fell afterwards, right? High wave candle. BBY. Best Buy. Right here, you can see. <coughs> Price, uh, you know, it's just kind of trading sideways. And you can see high wave candle. So this wasn't overbought or oversold, but look, told a very sto important story. Where'd it go? Well, this is a good one. Where is it? There it is. <coughs> so price fell. Look what it did. It hit the 200 SMA, right? So bears tried to push it down. Bulls came back in at the 200 SMA, settled right in between. And uh, again, perfect indecision right below, in between moving average lines. And then eventually, obviously, it kind of went back up right here. A few days later, went back up. Pay attention to these. You can see, again, high wave candle, or is it a long leg, legged doji? Again, it just kind of like, don't bog yourself down with it. You can see over here, long legged doji. Um, and you'll start to see these patterns over and over and over again. Let's look at one more here. Uh, John Deere, again, right over here, indecision. You know, people say it's got to be a small, real body. You know, it's small, it's, it's kind of relative. You know, again, it's a little bit bigger over here, but you have long upper and a longer lower shadow. Um, it's a form of kind of indecision of what's going on. You got to be careful. It's very hard to trade these candlesticks. And again, it's showing a really big battle and tug of war between the bulls and the bears.